Good morning, everyone. Thanks very much for, for attending. Uh, I'm very happy to present Abra Silver here. I feel, uh, truly feel we have a transformational year ahead of us with multiple catalysts coming up over the next several months here. Of course, uh, standard disclaimer slides. I'll be making some forward-looking statements here. Um, so Abra Silver is an advanced stage exploration asset. Uh, our key project is called Diablilos. Uh, it's located in the mining-friendly Salta province in, in Argentina. Um, this is quite an advanced stage exploration asset. So this uh, project's been around for, for many years, has actually had over 120,000 meters of drilling uh, throughout the years, uh, and most of that has focused on one key deposit called Oculto. And so at Oculto, we've been advancing that, we've been drilling that and have grown that substantially over the past three years. Uh, we just announced uh, the latest updated resource estimate back in November, so only a few months ago now, uh, where we announced over 50 million tons in the measured and indicated category uh, at good grades, um, resulting in about 110 million ounces of silver, 1.3 million ounces of gold. Now, importantly, as Brian mentioned, this is open pitable, close to surface, uh, and straightforward processing. So a very, very nice size deposit in and of itself. Now, what's most exciting for us at Diablilos is that we now have a brand new discovery uh, located several hundred kilometers, uh, sorry, several hundred meters uh, to the southwest of Oculto. And this is in an area that's never had any drilling historically. And we're calling this brand new discovery the, the Jack Zone. Um, this is incredibly exciting. Uh, was, uh, you know, uh, Discovery Hole was made less than six months ago. We've rapidly advanced that in a very short period of time. Uh, we just announced recently that we've expanded our current drill program as well. Uh, by about 50%. So we went from 15,000 meters drilling at the jack target this year to 22,000 meters. Uh, and we've had dozens of high grade results, which I'll, I'll show you shortly here. So very, very excited about the future of Diablilos, the future of jack zone, uh, and significant exploration upside beyond that as well. Importantly, uh, we're very well funded. Um, so we have currently $15 million in the bank. So well funded for, for the next 12 months at least. Um, our top shareholder is Eric Sprott. He owns uh, just about 12% of the company. He invested in us back in 2020. Uh, he invested $10 million at uh, about 27 cents per share. Uh, despite all the progress we've made here, um, you know, we're currently trading at 30 cents. So we're, we're trading at, at similar levels to, to where he originally invested. And obviously, the, the projects, uh, you know, uh, added significant value uh, over those past few years. Um, besides Diablilos, we also have a second project that we're very excited about as well. This is called La Coipita. It's in the San Juan province of Argentina, well known for, for mega porphyries there. Uh, we believe we might be drilling the next one. Uh, we're drilling that right now. Uh, drill results expected shortly, and, and I'll touch upon that uh, in more detail as well. So this is a, a very important slide. Um, you can see where we're located. So the, the Diablilos project actually sits right in the heart of the, the lithium triangle in Argentina, in the Salta province. And so this province is absolutely booming with mining investment all around us. Uh, so you can see the green boxes there that surround Diablilos. These are lithium projects, all of which are under active construction as we speak. So there's over $2 billion US of construction activities going on all around us. Uh, the red box is there, again, not too far away from us, are recently completed projects. So Fortuna Silver completed construction of Lundero a couple of years ago now. Uh, it's up and running nicely. There's also been a, a couple other lithium projects that have been developed in this part of Salta. Uh, so we feel this truly is emerging or has emerged already uh, as a key mining region for, for Argentina. Uh, we like to say salt is the Nevada of Argentina, and it's the, the proof is in the pudding. I mean, there's billions of dollars being spent there uh, in terms of mining activities. Uh, very important for us, the infrastructure is excellent as well, and of course improving. There's a big solar farm that's been built uh, to the north of us. There's a natural gas pipeline. There's a second natural gas pipeline expect to, uh, to commence construction next year. Uh, there's a second highway being built, et cetera. And so lots lots of benefits being uh, right in the middle of, of all this major mining activity, uh, and we feel strongly that Diablos will be the next project to enter uh, construction, and we're about 18 to 24 months ahead, uh, you know, before that. 
It's going in a bit more detail here. Uh, you can see this is a visual. Uh, uh, you know, if you look <laughs> as you exit the room, if you look at the CN Tower behind you, uh, it's over 400 meters. Kind of gives you a sense of the ore body that we have at Aculto. So it's about 400 meters. Uh, if you go and you know see see the top of the CN Tower, there it gives you a, a great sense. So 400 meters. Um, you know, it's 800 meters in length and about 450 meters width. And so this is now 50 million tons in the measured and indicated category. We've uh, essentially doubled the size of the Oculto deposit uh, over the last two years. Uh, and we've done that on a very, very efficient, um, you know, discovery cost. So last year alone, we spent 5.1 million US drilling this, and we added 43 million ounces of silver equivalent. And that's two years in a row now that for every 12 cents we give our exploration team, they return uh, a, an ounce of silver equivalent in the ground, and that's in the measured and indicated category. So extremely cost-effective um, you know, um, program here that's unlocked a lot of value. How have we been able to do that? Um, when you look at the intervals we've been consistently hitting over the last several years, this table shows you, um, you know, this ranks all of the top intercepts globally for, for every primary silver asset um, on a grade thickness basis. And so this is from, from 2021, so it's over two years now. Uh, you rank them all on a grade thickness basis. You can see uh, we've delivered six of the top 11 best uh, drill results. And all of this, importantly, was at Oculto. And so Oculto's grown, that's how we've been able to define that. We'll have an updated PFS, which I'll talk about shortly, uh, which is gonna incorporate all these economics. Um, and so clearly ha have had some great success there over the past couple of years, expanding Oculto and consistently coming out with some, some very good results. But again, what's even most exciting for us right now as we look forward is not at Oculto. In fact, we've pulled both drill rigs away from Oculto uh, and we're now drilling this new jack target. So we announced this discovery hole here uh, back in, in August. Um, and so, you know, this was, you, you can see the big magnetic anomaly there. So there was a big mag low target, literally has never had any drilling done historically. We drilled one hole in that, uh, announced that in August, hit 80 meters of over 300 grams of silver um, near surface, uh, immediately started following that up. We've now, over the last couple months alone, have announced 34 results from this new jack target. All 34 have hit silver mineralization, close to surface, open pitable, in oxides, even higher grades than what we've uh, been, been hitting at, at Oculto. And so jack is absolutely a game changer. Um, you know, I think this is not recognized as of yet in the market, just given the, the overall market conditions. Uh, but yeah, our focus here is, I, I mentioned, we, we've announced uh, expanded drill program, drilling 22,000 meters now. Uh, we'll have a maiden resource on Jack uh, by September of this year. And then in November, we're gonna incorporate an updated pre-feasibility study, which will include the Jack zone and the expanded Oculto uh, deposit as well. So very, very keen to get that pre-feasibility study out there. Uh, and I think that, that could serve as, as a key catalyst for us later this year. Looking at the, the Jack drill results um, that we've announced to date, again, there, there's too many to mention. Uh, these, are, these are some of the, the best ones that we've announced. Uh, all of these, again, are located very close to surface. Jack's in a flat line valley. Uh, you can see here, mineralization starts generally about 100, 140 meters downhole depth. Uh, and we're consistently hitting hundreds of grams of, of silver equivalent, and it's, it's mostly silver. Uh, this is less gold-rich than Oculto. Oculto's more 50-50 balance between silver and gold. This new jack target seems to be about 95% silver. Um, so excellent, excellent deposit here. I think it's clear Diablilos is now gonna have two deposits uh, as we look forward. Uh, the overall average grade at Oculto is about 130 grams per ton, over 50 million tons. Uh, silver equivalent, and you can see, I mean, we're, we're consistently hitting much better than that at this new jack target. So we'll continue to drill this here, continue to have announcements every several weeks. On average, we've been doing one or two announcements per month uh, from this new jack target. Another visual here that puts things into context, that big magnetic anomaly uh, when you, you know, again, go outside and you look at the Rogers Center behind us, uh, you'll see the, the mag anomaly fits essentially four baseball stadiums. 
And so we've been grid drilling this now, uh, sort of on, on 50 meter, 50 to 25 meter uh, sort of intervals, uh, and we'll keep doing that, complete that 22,000 meter drill program, and announce a, a maiden resource in, in the very near future. So switching projects, now looking at our second project, which is in the San Juan province of Argentina. Again, San Juan has uh, had some phenomenal exploration success by, by many companies over the last, uh, you know, several years. Um, to the north, we have Filo del Sol. To the south of us, our closest neighbor is Los Azules, McEwen Mining, which I'm, I'm sure many of you have seen in the news recently, having investments from, from Rio Tinto, et cetera. Uh, so a lot, again, a lot of mining exploration activity going on down in this part of Argentina as well. We consolidated a very large land package a couple years ago, 70,000 hectares of land there. Uh, we drilled two holes last year. The second hole, you could see, intercepted 700 meters of mineralization, the best of which was about 225 meters of just over 0.4% copper equivalent. Uh, and that seems to be about the average grade for porphyries uh, down in this camp, 0.4%, 0.5% copper. And so we're following that up this year with just one deep hole. So 1.4 kilometers, uh, we're, we're drilling what we believe is gonna be the center, uh, the bullseye of this porphyry. Um, and the, the target here is a potential sort of close to a billion ton mega, mega copper porphyry. Um, you know, depending on the results and depending on, um, you know, uh, as we look forward here, we think this is a project that would be very, very attractive to, to a number of major companies looking for, for new copper discoveries. So we could either partner this, sell this, or spin it off and create a, a new copper entity and, and give that to our shareholders. So yet to be determined, but we should have results from this La Coipita uh, announced probably by June. So that's really it. I mean, very, very exciting year ahead. I mean, we're, we're you know, as busy as ever, uh, you know, at the moment, completing that, that phase three program focused on Jack. Um, you know, we'll come out with a maiden resource, as I mentioned, in, in September, followed by a pre-feasibility study uh, at the entire Diablos project before the end of this year, uh, also draw results from, from La Coipita. Um, so that's, you know, looking to just stay focused, uh, deliver results, uh, and unlock shareholder value here. And that's it. Thanks very much.